Good morning. Good morning and welcome to the weekend. Saturday, October the 14th, 2023 to Peace Through the Word, Daily Devotional Ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, Benson, Arizona, in the United States of America. And uh, I'm Pastor Ron York of that congregation, an, a Lutheran Church, Missouri Senate congregation. And so good to be able to welcome you this weekend uh, to this daily devotional piece of ministry as we begin our day here in the United States. But over in Europe, you're uh, ending your day. Uh, so no matter where you are, I pray that you're going to be blessed this morning uh, regardless. And so my brothers and sisters, we're going to be looking at the subject of passing it down. In other words, sharing our faith with our children in the next generation. Um, unfortunately, that's not happening today. And we're suffering the consequences of that. So this is a means of encouragement for us to share Jesus Christ, share his word and his uh, gospel uh, with others. We are witnesses for him and the expansion of his kingdom. So I pray that that's going to bless us this morning as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So allow me to please open our time together this morning with prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, whose grace always precedes and follows us. Help us to forsake all trust in earthly gain and to find in you our heavenly treasure. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So in the morning, O Lord, you hear our voices, and in the morning we prepare a sacrifice for you, and we watch. Our mouths are filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And so the passage of Scripture that our devotional is going to unpack for us this morning is that of Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 9. And we have this account. It says, Keep your soul diligently, lest you forget the things that your eyes have seen, and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life. Make them known to your children. Now, the Jewish people take this very seriously. They really do. A lot more serious than we do. And so uh, let's see how our devotional breaks this down for us this morning. It says, whenever I attend a worship service with my friend Eric and his family, there is one part I look forward to the most, the Lord's Prayer. Why? It's because Eric's three-year-old daughter always speaks the Lord's Prayer louder than everyone else. And she is always a half step behind. She may be young, but she has that prayer down. And we all can hear it. It's beautiful. God gives parents a special vocation. He commands them to teach their children about his story. But here's the sad reality. Parents aren't doing that. They teach them all the other stuff, but they leave the, their spiritual life unattended. They don't do that. They themselves aren't nurturing their own spiritual life, let alone their children. That's this huge problem here in the United States today. So they need to teach their children about his story, his laws, and his son. The reason is simple. So they will always remember the Lord their God. You see, my, my brothers and sisters, the biblical illiteracy just here in the United States amongst Christians is astounding. People don't study their Bible. They don't go to Bible study in church. They don't read their, study their Bible at home. They don't read their Bible, so they don't know anything that the Bible says, and they are constantly filtering everything through this. Their sinful human logic, which is totally erroneous. 
Totally. So, children don't leave under the wisdom and guidance of their parents forever. Not hardly. It just may happen that a prayer someone learned as a child from a parent is exactly the right prayer in a time of need when they are older. I lost my parents at an early age, but they laid a good, strong, spiritual foundation for me, for which I'm blessed. I'm living proof of the necessity and criticalness of what I'm saying. Or maybe a Bible verse memorized as a child serves as a reminder of God's grace just when they need it the most. So the gospel truths that we learn as children stay with us when we are adults. So may the word of the Lord ever rest upon our hearts all the days of our lives, and may we as parents start doing due diligence in spiritually nurturing our children. We pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you please grant that all parents would faithfully teach their children your word and ways. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We, can, we profess the Christian faith and we use the words of the Apostles' Creed. So together we profess. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer, and so together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, and our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept us this night from all harm and danger, and we pray that you would keep us this day, also from sin and every evil, that all of our doings in life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls and all things. Let your holy angels be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for taking time out of your weekend to begin your day with peace through the word. I pray it has inspired you, enlightened you, and given you genuine real peace this morning. So as you begin your weekend, I convey all of our Lord's blessings to you in abundance and wish you all tremendous blue skies. <laughs>